कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो फर्स्ट यू विल स्टार्ट अवर क्लास आई विल जस्ट टू चैंट द मंगलाचरण I think so. You not so no familiar with these slokas, but I have to chant. You will just to holding your hand and to pray with your heart. O Magana Timirandha Sho Gyanan Jana Salakaya Chakshuran Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Guru Vena Maha Sri Chaitanya Manavishtang Stapitang Jana Bhutale Shayong Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Shapadanti Kam. वंदेहां श्री गुरु श्रीजुता पद कमल श्री गुरुना वैष्णव चिरूपम शाग्र जात सहगन रघुनाथ नित सजीव साधयित सबदूत हरिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पाद सहगन ललिता श्री विशखा नित नम विष्णुपाद कृष्ण प्रस्था भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदात स्वामीनीति नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चत्यदेशताड़िने नम विष्णुपाद कृष्ण प्रस्था भूतले श्रीमाते जय पतका स्वामीनीति नामिने नम आचार्य पाद निताय कृपा प्रदायिने गौड़काथधमदाय नगर ग्राम तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव शादि गौड़ भक्त बृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करति बाचलम पंगुलंग हायति गिरी जत कृपा तमहंग वंदे परमानंद माधव श्री गुरुदीन ताड़िम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वर हरिओ सो द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू पे मै हम्बल अबिशंसेस अंड टू द लोटस पीट ऑफ मै गुरु महाराज एंड हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस सुल प्रभुपाद एंड द प्रीवियस एंड द सेम टाइम आईल जस्ट टू प्रे मै ऑल द ग्रैटिट्यूड टू द all the humble devotees those who are attending this zoom class from the different parts of the world especially from south africa and india and also those who are participating this class through the live on the live session so i am everybody to pay my humble gratitude please to pray for me whatever this peace i can give it it will be must be our purification for our consciousness to uplift it to the lotus feet of krishna and to enrich and broaden our mind to become a devotee of krishna that is the ultimate goal and purpose of our class so thank you so much those who are attending this class but i will humbly request to everybody please don't camera don't switch off should be switch on because i will scrolling and i'll see others i'll feel sleepy so please to help me yes patito pavani mata ji i can see you now so our today the topics is that confusion because this is very one of the important topics the confusion and doubts are very very the prominent word for our modern days because most of the youngster actually i am the youth preacher also same time i am just to giving the different lecture of the different and the youth centers and also the universities even the different uh, temples so most of them are they are asking me one of the question prabhu i am falling in the different kinds of confusion and duality and the uh, doubts this is the similar word what should i do to be overcome this kind of situation so even you see you know here is most uh, some of the family member devotees also here so you are also to thinking sometime you are in falling in different types of uh, the confusion in your family is somebody wants to be devoted like somebody don't like maybe you are devoted but your husband don't devoted maybe your family wants but your brother family your sister family don't want to be devotee what should we do that time so 
the all the greatest answer we can get it from the bhagavad gita actually i gave the title of the confusion but it is a class of the bhagavad gita because all the answers we can get from the bhagavad gita this bhagavad gita the ninth chapter one of the sloka bhagavan krishna said rajaviddha rajaguyam pavitram idam uttamam the bhagavad gita is the king of the knowledge so whatever the problems in your life if you want it to overcome you have to surrender or to be bowed down in the lotus feet of bhagavad gita you can get all the answers is there any answer if you want you can get everything in bhagavad gita that's why it is said rajubiddha rajubiddha means what raj means the king and biddha means the knowledge so all the king of the knowledge is the bhagavad gita so if you have some confusion if you have some doubts you can get all the solutions in bhagavad gita so our main purpose is divine grace who is the founder acharya of the iskon he is always to introduce to everybody the bhagavad gita even who is the founder acharya i mean the founder of this movement of this propagating this holy name all over the world he is the sri chaitanya mahaprabhu so sri chaitanya mahaprabhu predicted through his devotees जारे देखो तारे कहो कृष्ण उपदेश इन चैतन्य चरितामृत वन श्लोक वॉट इज द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द लॉर्ड इट इज अवर स्क्रिप्चर से लॉर्ड कृष्ण द इंस्ट्रक्शन इज द भगवद गीता सो इफ यू आर टेक दिस लेसन सीरियसली then you can overcome your all the problems all the uh, the difficulties in your life that's why today we getting a lot of information from the bhagavad gita the first shloka how the people fall in the confusion and what is the creating the problems if you are fall in the confusion or the doubts what symptoms you can feeling that time what type of the problems it create can life if you are fall in the doubts and the the um, confusion that's i'm reading from the bhagavad gita first shloka if you have bhagavad gita please to take your book this is the bhagavad gita the first chapter the first number shloka i am just to reading dharma kshetre sorry dhritarashtra yubacha धर्म क्षेत्रे कुरुक्षेत्रे समेता जुदुत्सव माम का पांडव चीमकुवर्त संजय अशिम प्रभु कैन यू प्लीज टू रीड दैट हरे कृष्ण प्रभु प्रणाम प्रणाम यू रीड यस धृत राष्ट्र सैद ओ संजय after my sons and the sons of pandu assembled in the place of pilgrimage at kurukshetra desiring to fight what did they do so you can listen very carefully first dhitarashtra said dhitarashtra said o sanjaya o sanjaya first you can see one thing if someone is a confusion na very everybody take the pen and paper you can get a lot of information even you not to think about it take the pen and paper why here is saying o oh, sanjaya why why not to say in another way our little gopi the name is prachi is from uk prachi yes how are you i'm good you are good So yes. do you like would you like to hear the english class yes okay you tell your name then all the devotees can hear your name tell sachi yes. lord sachi roy okay which class are you reading uh the year 2 okay standard 2 thank you so much to listen the class so you see the kids very small kids because her parents are devoted they are from uk 
her mother is a father is a bengali they are coming to my bengali zoom so first you see why here is saying o oh, sanjaya first you have to understand right those this point when someone falling in the doubts and the confusion that time they not to speak in a formal way they have to speak in informal way just like sometimes if you are in somebody to doubts and the confusion that time you not to say hari krishna prabhu ji hari krishna mata you not to say like this way you have some doubts and some confusion then you which way you will speak hey what is this what are you doing hey i don't understand so this is the informal way so we can understand dhitarashtra first to say when that o oh, sanjaya that means he has some doubts and the confusion so when you understand in this material people world anybody can speak to you the informal way then you will understand that person always in the doubts anxiety and the problems that's why he not to speak in the formal way always to understand a person to speak in the formal way when a person in the peaceful mind if he is not a peaceful mind he will never can speak to you in a formal way he will always to speak you in the informal way understand but you see such example when you going to any maharaj or any spiritual person you not to speak just like you are coming to speak to me here anybody can say hey prabhu how are you don't say like this you not to say here you say are krishna prabhu ji dandavat pranam how are you this is the because you are with me is a peaceful mind so why there is a peace there is no doubts no kind of any confusion there you can speak in the heartly but when you are speak to the uh, point of doubts and uh, confusion then you are speak from the ego from the point of ego so that time you are just to speak like this my humble request those who are coming to this class i saw that news Sh uh, shashi rabi pal please to switch on the camera and stay in the class i'm my humble request and manjula mata ji this is my humble request then i can see everybody because i don't like that anybody can camera off second point you said oh sanjaya after my sons so first you can see another point is that he first said uh, first you see after my sons and the sons of pandu so another point you can write when somebody in the confusion and doubts that time he always to differentiate he never to see everybody equal first what dithuras to say what about my son and the pandu son are pandu is not your son pandu is also your brother son why you not to say what about my son and the my brother son no not to say brother directly to tell the name so that means he is the envious to the pandus that's why when a person is the confusion and doubts not to give the respect and differentiate always to be speaking like a different way that means they are not to see the everything in equal that's why dhitarashtra is not equal person dhitarashtra always in jealous person that's why he is telling what about my son and the um, dhitara pandu son that means he is make it the two families the separate through the words we can understand for the doubt second another thing is you can see when saying my son and the uh, pandu son that means he is not at the level of spiritual consciousness he is the level of bodily consciousness when somebody is the bodily consciousness that time he or she is the differentiate the family this is my family that is your family that is my brother family that is no we are in one family that's like a proper says what proper said iskon is the one family we are in one under one umbrella we are everybody and what is that umbrella the lotus feet of krishna so we are sitting under everybody but when you have a doubts when you have a confusion when you have anxiety that time we are differentiate this is your family i don't take care this is my family i will take care 
So you are just to differentiate like this. So you have to understand one thing. When you are discriminate, that means you are the family member of Dhritarashtra. When you are not discriminate, you are the family of Pandavas. Because Pandavas are devotee. So keep it in mind. So now you can think about, because our all the dynasties coming from that two family, because that pro, pro generation is we are. So if your mind always to be differentiate and uh, I mean the discriminate, then you are understand you are the lineage of Dhritarashtra. But when you are in every time to try to cooperate and see equal, that time you are understand you are the generation of Pand Pancha Pandav, the Pandavas. So these things we can learn. Then another thing, the son of Pandu assembling, assembled in the place of pilgrimage at Kurukshetra is uh, telling that one thing is uh, assembled in the place of pilgrimage at Kurukshetra when he just to accumulate everybody in the pilgrimage of Kurukshetra and desiring to fight. What did they do? What did they do? My question is that. Are you here is most of them are as a girls. So if your child will go to the holy place, did you ask any time what you are doing better in the holy place? You ask any time? No. You are asking what? Oh, just like such an example, Arti Mataji sent his son to Vrindavan. He not to ask, oh, beta, what you are doing in Vrindavan? She not to ask like this. Or maybe our uh, key that is in like a uh, Prashanti Mataji send her daughter Kaira to send in Vrindavan and she will call and ask Kaira what are you doing in Vrindavan? No. She will ask my, oh my sweetheart mm, mm, beta what are you doing? Are you going to Barsana? Are you going to Gokul? Are you going to Krishna Balaram temple or Iskon? You are asking. But my question is that, why Dhritarashtra asking? His sons went to the Kurukshetra, is a very auspicious place, divine place. Then why he asking? What did they do? To asking to Sanjaya, what my sons are doing? That means it's a father, a mother, not to teach the children in the proper Krishna consciousness things. Even they think about, even my child will go to the holy place doing some bad work. Doing some bad work. That's why they are in doubtful. Maybe my sons went to the Kurukshetra, but they are to doing the immoral things. They are going to the irreligious point of things will do with the Panchapanda. That's why he is asking. What is Sanjaya? What, what did they do to assemble there? So you see, the doubt is where coming, confusion where coming. Now come to the one point. Why are in our heart doubts and confusion come when you not to teach the proper things to your person, either your children, either your husband, either your wife, either your subordinate. If you not to teach them proper things then always your mind is doubts and confusion. In our Bengali, one word said, Chorer mane pulish pulish. You understand? It is Bengali word said, Chorer mane pulish pulish, you understand? When the thief is moving in anywhere, thief always think, hey, police is coming. Hey, police is coming. Any siren is uh, coming and thinking, oh, maybe uh, the police uh, car is coming. Because... Thief is not to do in his life is the good work. That's why thief anywhere to go, always to think about maybe police came. Police came. And just to take me to the uh, where? Uh, to the jail. So the Dhritarashtra is the doubtful. Why? Because Dhritarashtra didn't teach to the children the right things. That's why he is doubtful. What did they do in the assembled of the um, uh, holy place? Sometimes I see, even foreign countries, parents are devoted, but children come to the holy place drinking alcohol, doing some nonsense things in Vrindavan, even the, some other place. Why? Because parents didn't teach them the proper things. That's why the father-mother should be a good devotee. Always you understand, 
if you are a good devotee your by product also become a good devotee if you are not a good devotee you not to think about your by product will be a good devotee that's why here we can see dhritarashtra is the bad father that's the children also the bad children but you see pandu pandu is the good father that's why his five sons also the good sons the pancho pandav arjuna yudhishthir bhim anukul sahadev they are very glorious son why because pandu is the good devotee his father is the good that's why if parents never good children never become good is very difficult it's very difficult that's why we have to understand confusion creates if you are doing the wrong things in your life but if you are doing the right things you have the uh, confidence in your heart that my children cannot to do like this my children cannot to do like this i see that sometimes there is a ganga mata from south africa uh, our daughter is the vishaka mata ji sometimes she my child cannot to do like this prabhu because i am not to do like this in my life understand when somebody can say like this when the parents is the honest parents is that's so we have to understand you first to teach your children you have to first to be at the good first to good you see our jairada because they are father mother both of them are good devotee good devotee that's why they are bombasting way they can say my child cannot to do like this prabhu because my husband my uh, my wife we never going to the for uh, the hunky bunky things and this and that maybe we are staying in the australia but we are spiritual life so we first we have to understand confusion and doubts is create in our heart it's the main problem it's not from outside the doubts and confusion come the confusion and doubts is coming when you are doing some wrong things in your life so dhritarashtra is the wrong person that's why his mind always to the wrong things is coming my children also do going to the kurukshetra going to the the good things so you can get this point now come to the purport of prabha yes ashim can you read please hari krishna prabhu pranam pranam support jai shila prabhu pad ki jai not support purport purport bhagavad gita is the widely read this tick science summarized in the gita mahatma glorification of the gita there it says that one should read bhagavad gita very scrutinizingly with me with the help of a person who is a devotee of shri krishna and try to understand it without personally motivated interpretations one minute that's what prabhupad starting the part do you see if you want to be a good parents if you wanted to create your children your family your relatives is the good then you have to read the bhagavad gita scrutinizely prabhupad again and again said not to say gita reading that's why you will see iskon online different courses are offered that time what they say the gita reading course no what they are saying the gita study course that means the gita and scriptures is not for reading this is for studying and studying means you have to be scrutinously to read it then you can get so many information from there that is really to helping your to overcome your confusion your all types of the uh, um, uh, doubts everything you can overcome but if you are not to uh, scrutinously to read it just you read it oh prabhu said this is pitri paksha or my mother left or my father left or my child today my children birthday okay i'll read some uh, uh, gita what open the book and dharmakshetra kurukshetra samaveta jujutshava mamaka mandava chukva kimakubarta sanjayo sanjay said this that and then second shloka <clears throat> manmana bhava mat bhakto mat jaji mang namaskuru mam then purport oh prabhu i am 10 shlokas i read it today my son's birthday this is nothing happened you have to read one shloka one word but you have to understand that word and to apply your life 
that is proper say so if we want to overcome our all kinds of the doubts and the confusions then we have to read the bhagavad gita in i mean the scrutinously can you think about before that uh, this first shloka the first word o oh, sanjaya is can tell in the informal way have you think about these things before arti mata ji dr arti have you read it, the bhagavad gita of the first shloka before yes uh prabhu ji i've read it before but, but you I'm think about understanding it better from listening to you <laughs> yeah but uh, but now you understand that what is but before you understand like this way which way i'm just first look i explain yes no no i say i'm trying to yes hmm? no no before you also to read the bhagavad gita first shloka and also read the translation but have you think about it these things that oh sanjay word is so deeper uh, kurukshetra is so deeper meaning what did they do is the so deeper meaning have you think about it before no 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 so just we are skim through to read it these things that's why we have to read in the depth read in the depth prabhu pa says bhagavad gita is the milk pot and we are as the the grinding mortar so, sorry churning mortar so if we churning the with our intelligence to the milk then we can get the cream cream is in bhagavad gita but if you not to churn you can't get the cream so that's why if you read bhagavad gita just like a skim through you cannot to get the cream if you want to get the cream the nectar you have to churn it because cream is the nectar just like we re- we heard from the uh, mahabharata that the devotas and asuras are churning the ocean and from there the milk pot is came out so when that milk uh, the or nectar pot is came out when they are churning so we are everybody doing the spiritual life but we are not to churn we are just to doing as a ritualistic way ritualistic way always to understand devotion is not for ritual ritual you have to do for the devotion that is called in the spiritual life otherwise you are not to be benefited in your life to do the spiritual life understand next asim prabhu hare krishna prabhu can you hear me yes okay the example of and jarada you bring your english book is a problem you read it is a problem in network go to where did you stop the first step uh, is bhagavad gita is scrutinizedly help that uh, up to that end interpretation the example of clear understanding is there in the bhagavad gita itself in the way the teaching is understood by arjuna who heard the gita directly from the lord so we can get another answer what is that the bhagavad gita you have to understand not by reading other books bhagavad gita you have to understand by his own book to read it there is one of the uh, logic question we can also to understand in our life such a example this is a one of the very very psychological answer is here when somebody is the you and your husband is the problem third person cannot to resolve you and your husband sit and speak together then you can resolve just like if you understand the bhagavad gita then you have to read bhagavad gita then you can then you can overcome and to uh, and understand such like if you have some confusion and doubts with some other person then you sit together we discuss together then we can resolve the problems but you have doubts or somebody you have a confusion and you are gossiping that will more blasting that will more make it the bitter i will always to give a example one thing you know the confusion is what like confusion is like a lie like a rice and dal you know when you are eating 
and you in the hot season you take some nimbu i mean the lemon so when you are lying just to one time squeeze and that syrup is so delicious and so tasty because hot you know it looks like a little bit in taste is the sour so you'll feeling nice but when one time two times three times you squeeze and then coming to the what the bitter and it's oh it is now now is not eatable because it's totally bitter so confusion is like that when you's going with your confusion and doubts to the other people and discuss oh you see this lady is like that oh see this prabhu is like that i don't like it she's like that so when you are doubts and confusion criticizing in behind and gossiping behind you cannot resolve you become your life is peter that's why proper they said read the bhagavad gita to understanding own self then you can understand and reading same way if you have some doubts and problems in your family then you can hear from the spiritual person and with that knowledge you discuss with your family members or your relatives or your friends then you sit together and then solve always to understand problems can every problems can be resolved only by sitting together but our modern days problem when we are problems we are panicking we are not to sitting and is not discussing we are panicking behind oh like this or oh, this girl or this girl lady or this prabhu is like this this is a panicking and this is make it more bitter so like, better is that to sit together i am always to say and even it is our niti shastra say if you have some doubts if you have some problems if you have confusion to me directly you ask me so then it and prabhu i don't like these things uh, will you really to do like this then i can tell na because i am such a like sometimes oh prabhu you are a brahmachari you are speak to that lady what is this that time i am always to send mata ji why you are asking that person i am speaking to that lady so i know that what purpose what mentality i spoke to the ladies that another person don't know another person knew my bad things he will always to tell oh prabhu is a brahmachari speak to the lady but if he will directly ask me prabhu did you speak to the arti mata ji i said yes what happened no you are a brahmachari i said do you know arti mata ji which way to look at me is my mother she is my mother so she is some doubts with her children that's why she want to speak to me that's why oh sorry prabhu i am so sorry i was thinking something mistake i said you see if you are asking to the another person you fall in a vaishnava apana because you are more and more speaking about me but when you are directly asking that time you can get you call to arti mata ji you will see arti mata ji who is say oh sundarni tan so my darling you she will not to say like this when she will receive oh sundarni tan no, he is like my son such a nice devotee always to helping me i am feeling it is my own son so you have confusion is clear that's a proper saying if you want to be free from the confusion and doubts you read bhagavad gita studiously then you can get the knowledge but you are panicking and you are gossiping in the behind it will make it more bitter either your life and for that person life you cannot to be resolved this is the modern days problems a intelligent person sit together and discuss what is happening understand next jarada speak loudly beta if someone is fortunate enough to understand the bhagavad gita in that line of disciplined succession without motivated interpretation then he sur- surpasses all studies of vedic wisdom and all scriptures of the world so here is one of the teachings prophet saying that if you wanted to understand the bhagavad gita then you are not to hearing from here and there sometime you will go to the person that oh this fellow is good bhagavad gita is reading because it is connecting to your mind you also also wanted to hearing some uh, gossiping at this and that and your way and that fellow for some donation for some money for some hankering something to you 
also to learn. I'm always to Prabhupada say, you will hear the Bhagavad Gita for that person who is to telling the sharp state forward word. Either you like it or not like it. That's not my view. My view is to what is the scripture said, I have to give the knowledge. You are here from there. That's why, you know, Bhagavad Gita to those who are speaker called, is, called in guru and those who are listener called in shishya. In our Hindi language called in shishya. Shishya, shishya means that the shashan. Shashan means chastisement. So those who can accept the chastisement from the guru, he can become a disciple. Disciple means that those who can follow the discipline. And discipline means you have to acceptance, whatever your guru, whatever your spiritual counselor says. But if you are fighting with your counselor, with your spiritual master, then you are not a uh, disciple. You are not to become a disciple. You are a distractor. You are distractor your life and also distract your guru's goodwill. That's why you have to understand. Disciple means you have to be disciplined to follow. And discipline means you have to be submissive. So we are learning. Bhagavad Gita has so many interpretations. But we have to hear from the authentic person who is to telling the right way what is really for the progress of a spiritual life. Not motivated from these, that, or somebody, Bhagavad Gita motivated, oh, for this donation, for this, the girlfriend, for this, mandan, this, that. No. Always to understand, Bhagavad Gita, main purpose is to, you have to devote your life for Krishna and dedicate your life for Krishna. If that person is speaking like that, then you understand right way. But he's in diverting in different ways. Then you understand this is uh, and sometimes we are liking, oh, our Paramatma Prabhu is in such a nice class to give it. Why, Mataji? You know that which way I want the Prabhu also to speak like this. I said, you get it, Bogas Guru. Why? Prabhu, why are you telling that? Are Paramatma Prabhu, why you just to speak to me like your way? Paramatma Prabhu give the class in Bhagavad Gita way, not your way. You are rascal. You are, your mind is rascal. Bhagavad Gita is not a rascal. So we have to understand. When you listen from the authentic person, oh, Prabhu is giving nice class according to my heart. What Prabhu will telling you according to your heart? Prabhu will speak according to the Gita. According to the Gita. Yes, you can say Gita's word according to my life. You can say like this. Actually, Prabhu, Whatever I am learning from Prabhupada, Bhagavad Gita, you are speaking like that way. I am very happy. But you cannot to say, Prabhupada speak, uh, Prabhuji spoke like my heart way. Then you understand this is the Bhagavad. Get my point. Now, yes, Jairana. One will find in the Bhagavad Gita all that is contained in other scriptures. But the reader will also find things which are not to be found elsewhere. That is the specific standard of the Gita. It is the perfect theistic science because it is directly spoken by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna. That's why I previously I told the Bhagavad Gita is the one of the book you can get the perfect knowledge. And that is the authentic knowledge that Prabhupada is described here. Yes, next. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yes. In my place, it was raining heavily, so electricity went out. Okay, no problem. Your sister is reading now. Then at the end part, you will read. No problem, Bitter. The topics discussed by Dhritarashtra and Sanjay, as described in the Mahabharata, form the basic principle for this great philosophy. It is understood that this philosophy in evolved on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, which is a sacred place of pilgrimage from the Im immoral, immemorial time of the Vedic age. It was spoken by the Lord when he was present personally on this planet for the guidance of mankind. So we can understand here, Prabhupada said, this Bhagavad Gita, what Prabhupada wanted to say this line? The Prabhupada wanted to say, 
this mahabharata's instructions and the bhagavad gita's instructions is from the immemorial times modern days you are going to speak to your children this oh mummy this is the old and shabby books speak to the science the technology this is that because bhagavad gita is very shabby book from the mahabharata period is a long long time but prabhu said old is gold old is always gold so you don't think about bhagavad gita's knowledge is immemorial time it is slacking on this and that it is still in refresh and the freshness is we can get it so that means if you still to read in bhagavad gita you can get the solution from there such example come to the psychology when you fall in the problem in your family to whom you go first go to the youngster or go to the oldest star arti mata ji when you are in the problem in your family to discuss some um, uh, confusion to whom you are going to your young children or you are going to your parents or your uh, uh, grandpa or grandma my parents probably always yeah. to the elders yes so that means it is also the teachings for us when we have some doubts have some confusion in our life we should go to the olden books and what is the olden books that is the bhagavad gita that is the mahabharata there is a authentic and real things because my question is that then another psychology can come why you are going to the olden people why why you are going to the old old people because think, they know too much yes very good answer anybody else why why you are going to the old people manjula mata ji why your children is uh, unmute ma manjula mata ji unmute yeah why your children okay. you, are, you, you you are according to the age looks like little bit old why your children come to you to the uh, some solution or some result why because of the experience you have yes that's a good idea mother that's a good answer experience because the old things has a lot of experience that's why you, they are coming so you have to understand why you go to the bhagavad gita or the vedic scriptures because there is a lot of the experimental things is there that's i'm always to say how to achieve your success don't regret your past don't think about your future be use your present that's why i always to write these things three things old is the past is your past is your experience write it this sentence old is uh, 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 i mean the past is your experience present is your experiment and future your expectation again i am telling past is your experience and present is your experiment and future your expectation expectation so if you want to achieve your expectation what do you have to do take the support from the experience and to experiment in present then you can get the expectation that's why i'm always to say forget your past take the lesson and use your present as an experiment then you don't think about your future your future ultimately will be ready for you next jai radha the word dharma kshetra a place where religious rituals are performed is significant because on the battlefield of kurukshetra the supreme personality of godhead was present on the side of arjuna the durastra the father of the kurus was highly doubtful about the possibility of his son's ultimate victory in his doubt he inquired from his secretary sanjay what did they do he was confident that both his sons and the sons of his younger brother pandu were assembled in that field of kurukshetra for a determined ah, intention ah. of the war still his inquiry is significant so proper there is saying that that what i what i before to explain 
the dharmakshetra kurukshetra is the very prominent place and here is first word saying dharmakshetra and kurukshetra so why he using the two word dharmakshetra and kurukshetra this two word is very prominent dhitarashtra two times to using he can directly can say that kurukshetra but why he put the first in dharmakshetra that means he has a both the doubt two side doubts two side confusion why one side confusion in dharmakshetra to going to my sons dharmakshetra's influence is that to changing the person to become a devoted not to do irreligious things that's why he is thinking if my sons will accomplish with the pancha pandav and to give the land then i will be defeated and another way is thinking in dharmakshetra another thinking is that in dharmakshetra always to be dharma favor to the pancha pandav that means my son will die my sons will die because my sons are not in religious thing that's why he is falling in the confusion in both side one confusion from his bodily conception what what bodily conception my sons going to the dharmakshetra they are a rascal person but they are going to dharmakshetra to uh, uh, assemble with the panchapandav now maybe for the influence of dharmakshetra now they giving the 50% of the land to the property to the um, uh, panchapandav this is one confusion another confusion is coming maybe my child will not to accomplish or the confess then my child will die because that is the dharmakshetra so dharmakshetra if you are doing the irreligious things you must be die so you see the confusion were coming that's a prophecy this is the significant word why dharmakshetra again and again is still this is the why when you are the culprit when you are the wrong person that time the confusion is coming from there that's why i'm always to say confusion is not outside confusion is your you are not right that's why you are seeing everything is wrong if you are it is like that it is like a sunglass if you wear the white glass everything is white if you wear the black glass everything is black so if your heart is pure everything is pure everything is free, uh, no confusion but if you have some doubts if you are a meticulous person then you will everything seem meticulous everything seem doubtful way get my point na so it is the cleansing of ourselves bhagavad gita's knowledge to cleansing our own heart not in other side understand to overcome the doubts cleanse your heart not for others yes next beta he did not want to come from he did not want to come from compromise yes the cousins and the brothers and he wanted to be sure of the fate of his sons on yes that. one minute one minute beta one minute then another point is that why why confusion come when people are not to go to going to the compromise not to going to the compromise and i say why people not to going to compromise because he has a ego when people has a ego they don't go to the compromise they think oh i am going to the compromise then i'll going down i'm going to down just like arti mata is thinking why i am going to the compromise i am a doctor i am this i am that so that time you are fall in the confusion you think about what is this by in this world i am how many days i will stay okay reserve the points okay you want something okay okay let take this no problem but when you ego why i will compromise then the confusion come doubts come that's a problem said so your problem you creates not by others next because the battle was arranged to be fought at kurukshetra which is mentioned elsewhere in the vedas as a place of worship even for the denizens of heaven dhritarashtra became very fearful about the influence of the holy place on the outcome of the battle 
He knew very well that this would influence Arjuna and the sons of Pandu favorably, because by nature they were all virtuous. Sanjay was a student of Vyasa, and therefore, by the mercy of Vyasa, Sanjay was able to envision the battlefield of Kurukshetra, even while he was in the room of Dhritarashtra. And so, Dhritarashtra asked him about the situation on the battlefield. So, another point we can get is this para. What is that? When you know the both, the religion and irreligion, both you know, that time you are a confusion. Dhritarashtra knew dharma and adharma, both. That's why he is following a confusion. If he is totally not to know the religion, nah, he is going to do the bad things, no problem. But just like you are taking the alcohol. So you know alcohol will take, you will fall in a disease. And you also to, uh, I mean, the interested to drink alcohol. Then you are falling in the confusion. If I eat, then some problem and some lung problem, my some diseases will come. Another thing, oh my, all the friends, they are drinking. Why I'm not to drink? So you are following the confusion. But you see, a person don't know the bad side of the alcohol. Then he will close eyes and drink. He don't think about. So we can understand when people fall in the confusion, he know the both right and wrong. When a person know the right and wrong both, that person fall in the doubts and confusion. Why? Because he also right path and the wrong path, both he knew. Both he knew. That's why he fall in a problem. Fall in a problem. You see, one of the drunkards who not to know religious things or anything, you will tell, oh, if you drink the alcohol, you will uh, you, you will fall in a Vaishnavapara. He said, what is Vaishnavapara? What is the Bhagavan? What is this? Alcohol is the Bhagavan. Alcohol is everything. Because he don't know anything. But if person know the dharma and adharma both, he is always in doubts. That's so what we have to do? We not to be cross the river of the two boat to put our feet. That is always I am saying. If you want to cross the ocean of life, you don't put your memories or your thinking in two boats. You have to come to the one boat. Either right path, either wrong path. Wrong path, okay, you are going to the hell. You know that. But it is our Bengali say that is dudo uh, khabo tamako khabo. I will take the milk and also to take the tobacco. No, doctor will say either you will take the tobacco or either you will drink the milk. But you cannot to drink at a time the two things. So our life is modern days is like that. Why? What do you do? We 50% or 40%, 20% we do the religious activity. And also 70% we do the religious activities. Bar, hunky, punky, this, that. And we are thinking, why you are not very happy? Oh, Baba, how you are become happy? You are 30% do the religious things and 70% do the wrong things. How you become happy? Just like a one uh, bowl of the milk, you are put the two, three drops of the lemon uh, lime juice, what will happen? Whole milk will become the, the pony. Cheese. So it is like that. So it is Bhagavad Gita's teachings. You don't uh, going to the two roads at a time. You have to choose one path. That's why we are in confusion and sufferings in the life. Why people fall in the duality? Why people fall in the problems? Because they are choosing the two paths at a time. But we forget it. We cannot do going through the two roads at a time. We have to choose the one road. Either good path, either bad path. Understand? Now get the second. Uh, yes. Next. Jai Radha. Both the Pandavas and the sons of Dhritarashtra belong to the same family, but Dhritarashtra's mind is disclosed herein. He, he deliberately claimed only his sons as Kurus, and he separated the sons of Pandu from the family heritage. You see, Prabhupada what said? You see, uh, Kuru Bangsho, Pancho Pandav also there, 
and Dhritarashtra also there. Pandu also there, Dhritarashtra is there. Why Dhritarashtra is blind? Why Dhritarashtra is so dampened? And why Pandu is so generous? Why? Then we can understand. What we can understand? Blood is not to open the mind. The association is open the mind. I'm always to say, like mind is like a umbrella. If you not to open it, you cannot to shed it. Mind is like a umbrella to write it. Mind is like an umbrella. If you open it, you can save yourself from the heat and rain and anything. If you not open it, you will suffer your life. So if your mind, you are not to blooming or opening in the spiritual knowledge, spiritual association, spiritual culture, then you will suffer with the hot, cold, rain, distress. Get my point? So Prabhupada is telling, in a same family, born in the two children, one is Pandu, one is Dhritarashtra. Pandu is very generous. And uh, Dhritarashtra is the dampen, the jealous, so cruel. Why? Dhritarashtra's association was bad. But the Pandu's association was good. That's why this is the power of association. That's why it is our scriptures, Niti Shastra say, where are you born? That's not the main fact. To whom you are associated, that's the main fact. In your life, which dynasty, which family you born in, that is not the biggest problem. Just like, oh, I am a squan devotee. I am Prabhupada disciple. I am His Holiness uh, Lokanath Maharaj disciple. I am His Holiness Jayapataka Swami disciple. I am His Holiness Bhakti Chaitanya Swami's disciple. That's not the biggest problem. First thing, what you are. You are Bhakti Chaitanya Swami's disciple. You are Prabhupada disciple. That is not the biggest matter. Prabhupada always said, main fact, what you are, you think about. If you are good, then Bhakti Chaitanya Maharaj is good for you. If you are bad, then Bhakti Chaitanya Maharaj is not good for you. Understand? It is like that. Field is good, but if your seed is not good, then what is the problem of field? Seed is not good. Next. One can thus understand the specific position of Dhritarashtra in his relationship with his nephews, the sons of Pandu. As in the paddy field, the unnecessary plans are taken out. So it is expected from the very beginning of these topics that in the religious field of Kurukshetra, where the father of religion, Sri Krishna, was present, the unwanted plants like Dhritarashtra's son, Dhritarashtra's son Duryodhan, and others would be wiped out, and the thoroughly religious persons headed by Yujastir would be established by the Lord. This is the significance of the words Dharma Shetra and Kurukshetra, apart from their historical and Vedic importance. Yes. So what is the last thing Prabhupada gave an example of paddy field? That he waits out the, all the things. So what is that? That those who are coming to the spiritual life, but still through the bodily concept to be discriminate, this my family, that family, this confusion, that con uh, doubts. So Krishna waits out that the weights and throw in the garbage. So what is the last teachings that Krishna is giving through this uh, first sloka, that if you lie, you always in the confusion, then Krishna cannot to resolve it. Krishna just to take out and throw in the garbage. But if you are in generous, if you are in open-minded, if you are associating with the devotees, be generous, be resolved, then you can sublime and make a good relationship in your life. So if we are just to overcome the confusion, then you have to be the understanding the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita. That's why I'm always to say for the young star, what is the meaning of Bhagavad Gita? You should write it. Z-I-T-A. So what is the meaning of Gita? The G stand means the greatest. 
and I stand means the information, and the T stand means the technology, and A stand means the of all or acceptance. The, the Gita means the greatest info, information, technology, acceptance. So if your life, if you are Bhagavad Gita's, all the technical knowledge, if you are acceptance in your life, your life will be sublime, smooth, and doubtful, and free from the confusion. But if you are not to accept the Bhagavad Gita like this way, your whole life will be doubtful, the confusion and problems, and you will deteriorate in your life. So be content your life, the, lead your life according to the instructions of Bhagavad Gita. Not 50% there, 60% there. Don't put it here and there. Eko Kurunandana, fix your mind in one way. Then you can make your life is successful, blissful, and happy. So if you want to confusion, then you just do confusion. That's why I'm always to say. Con means that be Krishna conscious, not fusion. That's why if you overcome your confusion, throw it the fusion just to take the con. Con means the consciousness. To look over your consciousness, to develop your consciousness, then fusion will go. That's why write it. Confusion means con plus fusion. Isn't it? So con means the consciousness. So develop your consciousness with the Vedic scriptures knowledge, especially Bhagavad Gita. Then you, your all kinds of fusion will go away. That is the, the ultimate, the instructions the Bhagavad Gita is to teach us through these books. Thank you so much to everybody. Kind your patience to listening this class and to attend and join our class. Have you any question or comments? Please can tell me. Any questions on the topics? Please you can tell. And switch on your camera. Senas Kishori Mataji, switch on your camera. You know, this is a spiritual class. You should show your face. Srimati Mataji, switch on your camera. Hey, Krishna yes. Prabhu Pranam. Yes, Prabhu, Pranam. You said, you said yes. earlier in class that if there's any confusion or doubt, or we're having a problem with somebody, we should mm -hmm. sit together and speak about it. Yeah. So, Prabhu, my question is, if we do do that, with the, like your friend or whoever it is, is not interested to listen, yeah. you know, like, they're still continuing fighting or arguing. What do you do in a case like that, Prabhu? And that is a scripture. Still... That, that, is, uh, that is Krishna said here. That time you are just to avoid his association. Avoid his association. When you'll see that somebody not to sit together and not to discuss, then you understand he's a crazy. So you should not to associate. Then my mind will be crazy. That time you are just to technically be avoid. Be avoid. That is the Shastra said. Just like in Krishna. You see, Krishna first to give some symptom when some difficulties has come to us. But still we are know that, but it still keep going. You. Just like such example, when you're going to the purchase one of the cigarette packet, on the cigarette packet, write it down. Smoking is the bad for your cancer. But it still you will purchase. Then Krishna said, okay, now we'll give to the cancer. You suffer. I gave you symptom, but it's still you continue. So who will do? Now you suffer. I have to see. That's why in Bengali, you want to say, Keushike deke, keushike deke. Somebody can change his life by hearing. Somebody change his life by eating. So when somebody not by uh, hearing or teachings not to change, that time give the chance to eating. The Maya or the Lord or the circumstance hitting and changing. So those who are intelligent person, they change their life by hearing, by associating. But those who are foolish, they are by kicking to change their life. So when you understand this fellow not to hear, not to be come to the psychology, not to come to the uh, analogy, then he is a foolish person. So I should not speak to them. I should avoid. Then I'll free from my life. Get my point. Understand, Mataji? Yes, Prabhu. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you today. Anybody? 
anybody hare any krishna, yes hare krishna prabhu yes, prabhu. Prabhu. yes. Prabhu, i got a gentle ask you a gentle question slightly off the topic yeah so you, you know I, i have a friend you know he, uh, the friend has a question about um you know following the iskon way normally we have an altar you know hmm. on worship hmm. so we have you know or maybe radharani the disciple succession you know mm. lord chaitanya we've got lord nishinga dev the the mm. disciple succession and we got trouble part now if we choose to follow that and you know from our birth we we follow the the lakshmi you know we have a lakshmi lamp for example you know yeah, yeah 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 or even some people have a lingam or maybe ganesha mm. Mm. now how do you change now from that uh, historical way of worshiping to the iskon how do you respect you see fast ep is ep is a beginner you not to yes. tell him that you take it out everything yes yes he not to come to scorn but yes. you will tell okay you do this puja same time you also to do the puja of radha and krishna or gauranita or jagannath yes so yes. you understand that krishna is the powerful than demigod so when yes. you give the space to krishna krishna one day purchases the whole land the whole altar so it is like that you give this okay you keep it seva no problem also you keep it gornita so like this we you have today we have to not become very straight forward seriously at a time then they cannot to access you they cannot to come to iskon again that's you beginner okay. we have to tell okay mata ji you are worship shiva no problem same time you chant hari krishna same time you can also to offer the lamb to radha and krishna that also nice so through this way when he slowly slowly come get the taste then you will reduce the that taste bhagavad gita krishna say rasobarjam rasopashya param drishta nibartate when somebody can get the highest taste automatically he will just to leave it the lower taste just like i'm giving okay. an a manda giving a mandan example when somebody get the like a branded alcohol taste that time you local branded alcohol he will leave it automatically when somebody get the taste of coffee that time he will leave it the tea so it is like that okay. so when come to the higher taste automatically you leave it that things okay thank you oh, so thank much you so much prabhu hari krishna yes. thank you hari krishna any other question navakishori mata ji doctor to treatment us we are a patient no question provision this realization that you said that we are 50% yeah so what is your realization explain so my life is like that right now uh, i am not uh, chanting properly attentively and doing it to complete it yeah. so not getting the so your right your life is like that you know the right path you know the wrong path so you don't know that what you will do you know that chanting is good and same time you know that what you will do my doctor is is a, what i will do isn't it yes boss so that time what you have to do we have to be carefully and technically to be divided our times divided you see krishna is giving everything to us we just to be understanding how to utilize that is the that's why we are the the greatest human being na thank you so much to sharing so to do that actually this is her humbleness she is a very good devotee she is from the student life she is a devoted but still she is trying she is cooking alone she is a initiative devotee she is all in a joy path and she is also a doctor so she cooking chanting reading and also she is one of the preacher of namhatta leader she is in to preach and book distribution she is so many things she is doing of your guidance and your teachings for you thank you so much for you i am just used from her long time i know her to counseling she is now very good doctor she is from nepal i know her from long time she is very good devotee it's very good any other questions and comments even if you can tell what you are comments according to the class what are you learning arti mata ji she is also a doctor any comments or question any comments what are you learning from this class 
And it's very, very informative and can I, foundational. Can I see your one time without the mask? <laughs> 100% Prabhuji. Yes. I, yes. yes. Uh, and it's been very, very informative, very foundational, very uh, informational. And it's growing us. And we're here to grow and to learn. And yeah. um, and with your guidance, we can only grow in the positive light. So thank you so much, Prabhuji. Not my guidance. Everything is proper. So we will continue every Saturday. The same time, we'll do the class on the different topics and different days. At the same time, the 5.30 in India, IST. So according to your time, you can come. So I got your everybody's number. So I'll make a, one of the WhatsApp group. So I'll give the message that what topics, what I'll do. I got everybody's number and name. So I'll do that. Thank you so, so much, sorry, that you're very nice, uh, I mean, the, Explanation. Very good. Uh, Kofi Prabhu from the Australia. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Now, Hare uh, I want to find out when, when are the best times to chant during the day? Is there any, any, the any Prabhupada time says the best is as much as possible in the early morning because the morning is our mind is free from the anxiety. The day will increase, the more anxiety will come. One of our uh, guru in his con is uh, left to the body is uh, Bhakti Charu Swami. He said, the morning time, Joppa bead is like a fabric. During the daytime, Joppa bead slowly become in the iron ball. That time you are thinking, oh, that time you not to look at your Joppa mala. You look at your counting mala. Is it 16 down complete? It is 8 down complete. But you not to look at your 108 beats. So as much as possible, you can chant in the morning. Then you will get the test. Understand? Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any comments to this class? Yes. Uh, I think you mentioned something about the, the, the future expect, expectation. Yeah. You know, uh, yes. Uh, you said the mind is like an umbrella when it's open. Yeah. Now, what happens when the mind is closed? What do you. That time you are in confusion, this, uh, this I mean, the <laughs> doubts, problems. That is, I told, nah, mind is like umbrella. If you open it, you can, so many problems, so many distress, you can uh, just to face it and um, uh, protect you. But if it is close, you will suffer by rain, heat, this and that. So this rain, heat, this and that is the, what is that? That is the, all kinds of the difficulties in our life. Get my point? Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for your, uh, yes, Shoshi Prabhu. Would you like to say something? Thank you, Prabhu. I very, very informative class. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind appreciation. Yes, Ashmika. Hi, Paul Prabhu. Thank you yes. so much. It was very informative. I quite enjoyed it and I look forward to your next classes. Yes, and you also to bring the other devotees because we are a preacher mm -hmm. to helping the other yes. person to be uh, just to change their mind to be from the mundane to be the spiritual. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you. What, what is the best things you like in today's class? What sentence or what philosophy really to touches your heart? When you, when you compare the past to being our experience and the present experimentation and the future information? No, future, <laughs> future is the... Uh, your expectation. Okay, yes. <laughs> that analogy. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You. Yes. Thank you so much. And uh, what about our Sena, Sena's Mataji? Hi, Bo, um, uh, Prabhu. How are you? And how do you bow to all the devotees that joined our group? Yes, uh, everybody okay to, to look at your face. I'm very happy now. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what an amazing class, Prabhu. Um, totally, totally blown away. I cannot wait for the coming weeks. And uh, I really appreciate your time out and for forming this group. Uh, yeah. Especially in these times, it's so important. And yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much for your, no, you. this good experience. What is your cla today's class? What things is really to touch your life? or your, for your, maybe you can say that these teachings will helping my life. What in this class? You know, Prabhu, when you said about the umbrella, that yeah. no use closing the umbrella on a rainy day or a sunny day. We yeah. must learn to open it, open our yeah. spirituality to yeah. good. And you know, what it brought to me is that whether you're going through a good day, bad day, yeah. uh, whether we have a death in the family or there's happy times, we still yeah. must not forget our spirituality and, yeah. and you know, uh, our teachings of Prabhupada, you know, I mean, yeah. uh, there's so much, you, I'm sure you, you so learned and there's still so much more to learn. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we, I'm looking forward to learning from you and for you to guide us in this. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mataji. Yes. Haribol. Haribol. Pranish. Yes, unmute. He's from Nepal. Hi, Krishna Browsi, don't pronounce. Don't know what's wrong. Today, no question, Browsi. No question. But you understand everything? Not properly. <laughs> <laughs> but you listen, you can understand. He's also very nice. Thank you so much. I rest of the things is to my Bengali class devotees already entrance because now uh, I'm asking to our Jairadha what is Jairadha really to learning through this class uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu um, I there's this one point that you said about the white glasses and dark glasses yeah like if you wear clear glasses everything looks clear and normal but if you yeah. wear dark glasses or sunglasses Everything yeah. looks dark, and like similarly, if a person's heart is pure, yeah, they see everything like positively. Yeah. And, um, if a person's heart is impure, then they see it negatively. So yes. that point out of the whole entire class is something that I will yeah. keep in mind. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ashim Prabhu. Any comments? Hare Krishna Prabhu Pranam. Pranam. Your class is very nice and I appreciate it. Like Bhagavad Gita and your classes are sunlight and we all are plants. So we need sunlight, carbon dioxide to uh, make photosynthesis and grow. Okay. It's brilliant. Your, your appreciation and really to melting my heart. Thank you so much. You see, this is the Prabhupada, the glories. So this little boy, he's the standard. Whose class better? I forgot it. Standard U5, five. no? Yes. You see, so yes. biggest analogy he gave it. So it is the touch of Prabhupada books because her mother and she every day to listen my Bengali class. They are long time to, to my Zoom there. And, but he's studying in the English way. That's why he knows very well. Thank you so much. Thank um, you, Your classes are very important. Thank Pray. you, Haribol. Yes, Rupa Rai Prabhu's son. Uh, uh, good evening, Prabhuji. Like, it has been a very enlightening class for me. Like, yeah. I've and like uh, it has been a wonderful opportunity like to know more about Bhagavad Gita like in yeah. a way like never been taught to me before. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Now you understand that uh, other Mataji is that why I am not to giving the that uh, my ID password to everybody. You see, so many devotees here take the ID I mean, uh, uh, to call me, but everybody didn't come. Only those who are listener. That's the proper say. I don't see the quantity, I see the quality. So my class also, I'm always to following the quality, not quantity. 
how many people come that is not my problem my two three comes even they are really the listener two person change it that's okay but here so many people come back and forth this and that okay they are just to make their life is mesmerizing that's why i need the real genuine the listener those who really to want to hear because that will to be changing the life so thank you so much to everybody now i am going to the bengali class the zoom and after that i have also the question session answer we have still to 11 o'clock to going on the class bhagavad gita and bhagavatam then question session Thank you all to everybody. So next week again, you come and you can invite your friends to. I will give that, but I will make you one of the group. All the devotees, those who are coming to this class, I am sending that everything. So you are posting and everything you can do, but don't give it the ID password to everybody. I only to need the moon. Prophet say on the sky so many stars, but cannot to blooming the world. I need a one moon. that is can blooming the world that's so we no need to the so many stars i need a one moon just like a prabhupad one moon from the bhakti siddhan is to blooming the whole world but so many the misguided guru in this world but they cannot to blooming this world that's so we need like that okay so you are everybody paramatma prabhu one of the moon and arti mata ji one of the moon asmika is one of the moon and uh, sanas mataji is one of the moon i didn't say to the bengali devotees they are also more than moon they are very nice and vishaka mataji so whatever then navakishori mataji our jay radha they are moon this kind of oshim prabhu and aarti mataji and our kofi prabhu from australia this is their listener they want to change their life so we like to speak to them okay those who are busy they are make their life it easy busy i am always to say in indian way if you are busy you make your life is easy busy easy busy thank you so okay thank you so much so now you can leave it after 2 minutes i will start my bengali class so prabhu pare ki hari bol ki jai Sula Prabhupad ki jai, Bhagavad Gita ki jai. jai. Thank you jai. so much. Hare Krishna. Krishna Prabhu. Yes. You are the main moon for us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Coffee, coffee, Prabhu. You saw that your Prabhu friend Nitai Prabhu came in this class. He is sitting Thank with you. his. Uh, her daughter is that is uh, Jai Radha. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank okay. You. you make it so so comfortable and easy for us to understand. We are so yeah. very beginners. So thank you yeah. so much for. Yeah. And if you, you like in the Hindi class, um, in the English class, devotees, if you like, you can sit for ten minutes. Now we will start the Bengali class. The first hour, Jaira, they will sing the song. She is very good singer. So ten minutes you can spend to listen his song. because now in the world harinam sankirtan is going on all over the world through the scorn so we are our zoom class also 10 minutes 15 minutes do the kirtan then we start our bhagavad gita class so please to wait and listen the kirtan of jay radha then you can leave or if you have so much busy then you can go hare krishna jay radha stop this live and start